<laughs> All right, y'all. Welcome to the uh, episode three. <laughs> episode three of Rock City Wrestling Talk Podcast. How we all doing today, fellas? I'm I'm, I'm amazing. I'm excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good night, good night Dynamite, and uh, we got a lot of. We got a lot of news to talk about with the uh, other side. That's kind of why I asked y'all how y'all was doing. Because I'm not doing well. Man. I'm not happy. Listen, they better not. They better not calm stuff down after next week. I'm going to be furious because it's hot next week. Oh, you're talking about uh, AEW. Uh, We're going to get to that in a minute. but Yeah, we'll talk about Grand Slam. Yeah. This this egregious nature of a hot shot program that is called WWF and E has pissed me off for the last time. I don't even I don't even watch it to get pissed off enough about it. But for them to hot shot a big moment like that just because they want to combat ratings and they didn't even get anything. It is just, it, they shot their shot, and it did not work. It, 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 it's the same as normal. Like, before I go off, what, what Kenny, what do you think? What What are you thinking about this? I know you share some of the same sentiments. Okay. So, I'm happy that he but I'm not happy about how they went across the world. I can agree with that. I can agree, and it, 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 it's it, it, it's sad, really, to me, because here you have Big E, who has worked his ass off and has got the crowd behind him and be able to say, you know, he's working towards that moment. And all the way up until then, when he won the briefcase and stuff like that, you knew he was going to win once he cashed in. However, and, and that was that whole point of that whole Heyman promo uh, to him on, what was it, Talking Smack or something like that? Because he was on SmackDown, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I what and Heyman was right on the money where it's like, you, you know, you got to get serious. You got to stop doing all this, like, goofy BS and stuff like that. He still hasn't stopped doing it. But then again, I feel like ever since then, they've, they've calmed down on him. Or his push, or whatever, and then just out of nowhere, just to pop the crowd, or whatever. And the commentators weren't even the commentators weren't even into it. You're supposed to have commentators that are into it. When I watched all out, when I watched the Lucha Brothers win those tag titles, it was I almost I almost cried because it was just so good. The commentators, the hype man, Alex, the 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 theme, the theme, perfect. The way the Young Bucks left the cage, everything about that was just spot on perfect. It's my favorite, I told my brother, it's my favorite tag team title victory of all time right now. Seriously. Even past, uh, what was it, um, DIY winning the titles, uh, the NXT titles. Even past American Alpha winning the titles, because those were emotional wins. But then you have Big Week. That's a, it's the WWE Championship. Like, and, and the, they're like, uh, uh, oh, Big E's champion. Like, okay, yeah. You're not selling it how you're supposed to, for one. And two, everything was just so predictable. Tell me, how did Lashley hurt himself? How did he hurt himself after the match? It's usually somebody to hurt him. The piece of the table. They say piece of the table hit his leg and he just oh. it. And it. Bull crap. Bull shit. Do. Absolute bullshit. And they got me sweating and heated right now. And I mean that shit because it it makes no sense. I'm, I'm profusely no. sweating. It's it's not even a it's not even a question. Quite, uh, question. No, no, I'm asking if if Biggie don't get on Twitter and say that he's doing that tonight, does that make the moment better or is it still a bullshit moment? No, it's yeah. crap. They told him to do it. They told him yeah, to do that. That's what I'm saying. Like if, if he just popped up, if he just popped up on Raw, like oh shit, Big E is here. I think that would make it more genuine. Even though we know, we know, we know, 
But I think the moment would have even been more genuine if he not tweeted that he's going to do it. But people don't ask like, that's corny. That was the plan, though. That's plan. Right. But that was the plan. Like if, like if it was a complete I surprise. Like, like, yeah, if it, was, if it was a complete surprise to, to the fans that he popped up and did that, it would have been a little more genuine than him tweeting and because we know what that was about, and that just made that made it even more corny. All right, now hold on. I want to hear you from. Don't know what it was about either way. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I want to hear from everybody as well. So, uh, just every, everybody, we gonna we're gonna try doing this like we gotta you know talk in turn so I can hear everybody as well. So finish what you were saying because you you are to something right now. I'm, yeah, I'm saying. At Biggie, we we know that the whole thing, the big picture of it was to get this rating. Right. But had Big E not tweeted, okay, it's it's out there, I'm gonna cash in tonight and I'm gonna it would have been to me, it would have been a more genuine of a moment, still surrounded by the bullshit, but just more genuine if he just would have came out and did it at the end. But that was and like I said, that Without was the plan. About it. Right. That was the plan initially yeah. for him to just come out and, and cash in not announce it the announcing part of it on Twitter is what made it seem just completely like literally blatant as to where WWE wanted to pop a crowd it's literally it Kenny what were you saying what do you think about the situation I say Biggie got treated just like any other money in the bank holder like it, they lose matches, they're not featured as much, and then when the cash in can come, it's like it's not really worth it, it's not right. well deserved. Right. Yeah, he busts his ass, but once he comes to the like, he's not getting featured every week on the shows, he's not in big profile. He's just sitting back and catering, looking for his opportunity to cash in, and he cashes in overall, not against yep. him. And, and he wears the belt, right. so it's not that big of a deal. That's what happened with everybody else has had it before. And that's the problem. And that's what I was saying beforehand. The, it's like the money in a briefcase. Uh, the money in a briefcase. The money in the bank briefcase. God damn. <laughs> it, see, it's got me so hot right now. Like, I'm just so. No. Just, it, it, it's an excuse for WWE creative to be lazy and complacent with whoever they've earmarked for the future. And I hate that because that is that is specifically what they're doing. They're like, okay, well, we have further plans down the line for you. This is just us saying, hey, we have some type of plans down the line for you. So hold this, and then we'll eventually get back to it when we're finished doing whatever it is what we're doing. It has no prestige, like Kenny, you said. It has no... I feel like if you are holding that briefcase, you should be having match after match after match just priming yourself for it. Building yourself up for it. Like the AEW rankings. That's kind of why I like that so much because people are getting steamed. And getting, like, it, the cash in has lost all its luster for me. It really has. And I really feel like they just did this just to just, just to cater to uh, I hate to say it. I'm gonna be controversial here. They do it to cater to their black audience, so that we don't say shit. That's what I feel like. Do you uh can I, can I, can I add to that? Sure. I think. And then we go hit Chico. I think that that is a big part of it because I really think, like, so a lot of crit, a lot of criticism of AEW is their black people in the main event. That is one thing that WWE has over them. So I think that's why they're doing it. You see what I'm saying? I don't think it's genuinely them guys wanting to be on top. I think that they're doing that intentionally, but maybe I'm just digging too deep. Doing what intentionally? What? Just uh, having having the, uh, the black the black people in the main event. But that is the problem that people have with AEW. And that's really, you know, every other month they pick a new problem with AEW, and that's what it is right now. Oh, you talking about the, the that has been brought up right on forums and stuff about not enough black wrestlers in AEW or main event status. Yeah, like in, in in the main event, just just in the main event, yeah, the status because there's a lot of them, but they're not main eventers, and so that is a critique now 
Because you know what you know how they do at that's, AEW. They got to find a new critique that's, once they move yeah, on from another. Critique. That's grasp. That's grasp at straws. Uh, according to that fan mm. base, and I'm gonna say that fan base because I am so negative WWE right now. Yes, I am. I really <laughs> am, and it shows, and it's just bleeding through because I just I can't take it anymore. They they're finding any reason whatsoever to bitch and moan and complain about AEW and what they're doing it's hard to stay fresh in this wrestling world today and AEW's doing that in spades we're actually excited to watch the damn show every week when you tune into Raw you know you're gonna see some Nicky Ashy Larry motherfucking shit and like just it's bad it's it's just bad all around uh, Chico I want to get your take on this specifically. What do you think? Are you mad or are you well, not mad? It it's definitely a mixed feeling situation because I do like Big E as an as a performer. He does definitely deserve like the recognition in the top spot. Yeah. However, this was definitely a hot shot for a few reasons. And you, you, people can say like Monday Night Football all they want, but um, AEW is in the mix, so you can't just ignore that. Right. And I, it did come out today that um, this was supposed to happen like during the draft. During the draft. It was supposed to, right. to, to be up the raw, and then get, and then cash in after the fact. And that would have been the bigger but surprise. They, but they did it. Yep. But they hot shot it. And the, w, the random WWE fan, <coughs> Mel, Martin, uh, would tell you that uh, apparently, oh, well, oh, it doesn't matter how they did it or, or whatever. Like, yes, it does. It really does. Especially the fact that it's somebody like Big E. Like, specifically. That was supposed to be a way bigger moment than that. He deserved a way bigger moment than that. And then even with the people congratulating him and stuff like that, it's not even... Like, that WWE didn't even... They hate AEW so much that they didn't even take... In one of their little graphics or whatever, they didn't even take the opportunity to say, like, oh, even AEW people is congratulating him. The wrestling world is congratulating him. No, they stayed within their little bubble. It was just the tweets from WWE superstars. Like, how petty do you have to be at this point? Like, it's just... It's beyond me. And it's speaking of... Like, just not hot shot booking, but just kind of segueing here a little bit because I'm not done talking about and venting about WWE this week. What the hell was NXT 2.0? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. Kenny, you and me watched it. We watched it together. What do you think? I couldn't get through it. I watch it anyway. Why are they putting so many of these new people out there? Nobody knows them. Every segment, every established talent had a new person with them. They let you know. And they're telling them, um, they're basically like, they're letting you know they're done with pro wrestling at this point. Yeah. This is strictly sports entertainment. And all these indie people that you cared about. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Just get your smart mark asses the fuck on, and we're going to do what we want to do. They can do what they want to do, but they will not be having me. The two things I got from that was, one, did they say why Kyle O'Reilly wasn't in the match, or they just took him out the match? Yeah, Pete Dunne and the other time they took him out, which is ridiculous because, like, we've seen Kyle O'Reilly take some of the sickest bumps imaginable, yeah. yet they stop him a couple times, and that just takes him out completely. <laughs> oh, and it's then, a, uh, it's then a another combo. thing, like, they were saying, they were saying they have this, they they obviously have a Steiner. Why did they change his name to, to Brock? What was his name? I don't even want to, I don't uh, even remember. Brock, Brock Breaker? Breaker. Ron Breaker. Why? You might as well You might as well name him Jimmy Neutron at this point. Like he looks, he looks like <laughs> he looks like his dad. He has he has he looks like his dad. He has music like his dad. He does everything like his dad, but they changed his name from his dad's name? 
my my opinion, his dad sucked. Like I don't care. Like forget it. I'm I'm of a different generation, so like I don't even like this isn't a big deal for me. So I was just like, okay, no, like who no, the hell is this guy? Marcus, I I know you're I know you're from like yeah. the thousands there. That's what you're. The Steiner brothers are were and always will be one of the greatest tag teams of all time. I I, 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 I get it. it. I get it. I get it. It's just you know, I mean, you know, for the the fan nowadays and things like that. That's literally I I I get it. But like to put him right in the title picture, like, and then you saw the article about that. Von Eric, whatever the hell, <laughs> whoever he is. Von Wagner. Yeah, Von, oh, Von we- Wagner. Yeah, out of nowhere, like, you like, like Mel here just now, out of nowhere, just, oh, just automatically in the title picture. And then they had LA Knight, the, the, the most gifted person on that roster right now, lost twice. In one night! Hey, why did he lose in the beginning of the show? Why did he lose in the beginning of the show? Yeah. In the main event. Oh. And, then they, and then they pin him in the main event. you got to be kidding me. What did he do? Did he do oh, something? He the- yes! He took the pin! Bro, I was like, are you, are you serious? You should be building... He, Eli Drake just got there. You should be building him up. He was in an okay program with uh, uh what what's his face um, Trevor Lee yeah and and then and then what where was Trevor Lee he was at what at the wedding speaking of the wedding oh come on yeah they got you on they got you on fire. oh I'm I'm on oh man I can't even talk about AW right now I'm so on fire. I guess they did their job, maybe. I'm talking about them on the podcast tonight. I don't like talking about them on the podcast. And then, of course, Mel pops up here to rub it in. So, what does Mel have to say? No, Mel, Mel Gray. Oh, I can't even see you. Who is that? Yeah, that's not Mel. That's me, man. It's Q? I'm not yeah. Mel, man. I'm just laying in the dark. I can't Greg. see nothing. I just see teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> me and my, me and Tim, Tim was just here. We was just talking about you too. I just looked at your story. He thought it was. He thought it was Mel. Yeah, I thought he it was Mel. Mel. I heard been doing some crazy shit. Yeah, I was about to, I was about to clown him, yeah. man, because Mel been at my throat all day. <laughs> so. Right, well, Mel jumps in. Jumps at the exact same, exact same time, time, right? I think he messages him before they get in and be like, "Yo, come with me. I don't want to go alone." That's what I feel like. When the count of three, yeah. Oh man. Uh, Greg, did you catch any WWE programming this week? Because that's what we're talking about. That's what we're flaming on about. If so, what'd you think? A little bit, man. I've been I've been chilling down in Florida, so I ain't really been catching much on TV. Yeah, I see you by the pool and stuff like that. I, I, I dig it. I yeah. dig it. I dig it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so I ain't been catching too much. I was just watching AEW for a little bit, though. Good. Because we, what did we all think about the show, guys? Um. Overall, I like it. At least now we know who uh, who Punk is about to start programming with now. Yeah. I really like that. That um. I don't like that too much. I don't get it. The team Taz stuff. It just maybe it's because he's talking about he's the best in the world. You know, Taz has been doing that type of shit, but I don't get it though. Why he's going to have to punk now? I mean, I guess he's got to start somewhere, well, right? Because well, he can't go right to work with the young guys and Hobby Stars are, I'm sure, are people he want to work with. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what Punk is putting overall. That's his favorite we've seen over the past couple years. I think that's Punk's direction. That's right with them. Hobbs, Starks, and Send Hook! Hook back. Hook equals ratings, baby! That's that's what we all know that. He is so he is so over, has done absolutely nothing. Cause it's cause it's Hook! That son of a bitch! It's Hook! Man, it's like somebody dropping pots and pans all over the place. I told you I'm doing He's chores. He's doing man. chores. Right now. <laughs> 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 Yo, 
But uh, I think uh, I think he said uh, I think Shane, you said it best. Uh, do y'all think that because they are stacking next week's show or next weeks of shows, we're right after that? Do you think we get kind of one of those down weeks like we had a couple weeks ago here in Rochester? Uh, hmm. I hate to think it. It might be, man. I don't think they, they, they can't do that for two weeks in a row. Because they're talking about right. next yeah. Wednesday and next Friday being, like, jam-packed. Right, exactly. In New York City, the Big Apple. Yeah. There's no way they're going to jam up Little Old Rochester. Because it's not... Uh, well, they, might I mean, on the of, they might do it on the strength of Brody, I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. But that's, yeah, because that's, 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 that's a rough card to follow me. Tony Khan said himself yeah. that he owes yeah. us. You talking about on the strength of Brody, man. They making the Dark Order like a fucking gimmick right now. <laughs> yo, yo, they look crazy. Yeah. Right. I really oh, think oh, they're oh, having oh. their problems because somebody's going to come in and solve them. Not Tyson Tomko, but somebody like uh, that's. I think that's. I think that's Wyatt that's going to come in. I'm not going to lie to you. I really do. Am <laughs> I like supposed to be impressed by that? They're, they're, they're too much of a like a, a comedic role right now for Wyatt to come. He'll, he'll t- it, it. You don't think they're nah, kind of getting a little serious I mean, right now? Like that with Brody too. They were like they were like that with Brody. Oh too. yeah, they were comedic with Brody honest. for sure. They turned Brody comedic. Yeah, they were like serious on TV, but then comedic on BTE. Oh, yeah. Brody died. Oh, shit. They just amped up the comedy shit on TV. Right. That shit is corny. <laughs> Anna! You. Anna! Oh, man, man. <laughs> but I mean, uh, bad, man. with the, uh, another thing, with the, I just, I, I caught bits and pieces of, uh, Dynamite tonight. Um, because I was busy with something else. But then, I heard, I, I walked in just in time to see the lineup for, um, uh, for Arthur Ashe. Why? I get that. The, oh, who, who is it? Butcher and Blade up at the top? Do we really think that? I love Butcher and Blade. I really do. Blade specifically because he's a Buffalo kid. He's a Buffalo boy. Um, What What Come chance on. are we giving them? They're ranked number one, but what chance are we giving them right now? They don't have a chance. I don't know how they say it's the number They're one. Butcher just got back. I feel like it's just bad timing. How do you know? Yeah, like, and how are they number one when Butcher just came back at the pay per view? Now, I don't understand that. I guess people falling off the rankings and stuff like that and getting the losses. That's probably why. It's a, it's a good match to kill some time. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way the Lucha Bros are going to lose that shit today. I just wish that we would have had one of those title changes that me, you, uh, me and Chico was talking about. The Eddie Kingston with the TNT title or the PMP with the tag team wins. Yeah, what's going on with Santana and Ortiz? I don't know. They're on the rankings, but I think they're like four. But, right, I'm really surprised well, they I got them on New York. Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah, very surprising. Yeah, I would have liked them. Are they saving that for full year? Probably. Maybe. Probably. But then again, that's the question. Does Lucha Bros, Never. after that win, do they lose those titles? I don't want to see those first drops. Yeah, at, yeah, exactly. After after that win, man, like I said, it was it was one of it was one of if not the best one I've ever seen. Like the the win itself, everything about it. I'm not wanting them to lose, but then again, like, do we be greedy and be like, hey, we want P and P to get them because it'll be a moment and stuff like that. Obviously, it'll be a moment, but. I feel like AEW's got sort of a like a master stroke in knowing when to pull the trigger. I can't say that about the Hangman Page situation, but you know, because things keep happening, it's, it, we have blue balls all over the place with that. Like seriously, and it's a shame, really, because we wanted that trigger pulled at the last pay per view. But what we got is pretty good, you know, the, the debuts. All that stuff. Um, Kenny, I want to get your take on this real quick. 
what do you think Brian is going to do? Do you think that's going to be just a good match to be able to say, hey, Brian's here, he's ready to wrestle, or whatever, or do they try and give him the title? Well, he's not facing Omega for the title, which is why I just wanted to kick his fucking head off. <laughs> That's what I want. That's a non-title match. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I get. That's why I think he should just lose the win. Okay. Yeah. I can. I can see that happening. Uh, they did the same thing with Christian when the AEW title was not on the line. So you know, I guess with Kenny, you know, he wants to. You want him to lose. Sometimes to show that he's human, that he's beatable, but not when it matters until it actually matters. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. I don't, and I don't think they're going to have him lose. I don't think they're going to have him lose because the more he lost once, the more you beat Omega. When Whenever Paige beats him, it won't be. It'll be like, well, everybody's kicking Omega's ass now, so <coughs> what's, the, like, what's the difference? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, they could do a fuck. Um, I want I want right. Paige to take him out when he's unstoppable. Right. No, Chico, what were you getting at? Oh, um, I was gonna say um, while uh, it is a possibility that they could have Brian beat Omega just to, to be able to say, oh my God, Brian beat the champion. But at the same time, I, it might be better just to go with the with the fuck finish with with cheating and. Fucking Brian over in his, in his first match. Yeah, I think so this that, is one of those so times. That Ken, so, that, so that Kenny still looks legit. Brian came close to beating him, but got fucked over. And they're still like that Dustin in the air until Hangman comes back to be the hero to save us all from here. Okay. Main event that shit. That's the TV. That's the TV time run out, man. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I love those time limit draws. I'm not gonna lie. I hope they go that route. I really do. That could, yeah. Yeah, because uh, when they what was they, they did that with Cody and Darby. Yeah, that was that was what was up. I liked that a lot. But uh, you know, yeah, that, yeah. I, thought, I never thought a time limit draw could work like that. Yeah. But, um, they made it work, and it, it was different. That's something AEW innovated. And uh, mm-hmm. watch WWE try and copy it. <laughs> Let me. Okay, I gotta stop bashing it so hard. I guess, but it's so easy because it's so blatant, and we're not stupid. But then there's people out there that watch WWE just because they're bored and it's something new. Stop doing yeah, it'll that. Be it'll be better. Oh, uh, well, yeah, and I, I don't want to be that negative, but we're all thinking it. I guess. So, <laughs> listen, man, that shit is. He Triple H just had a fucking. Triple H just had a heart attack because of that old ass dude, man. I, Come on, man. Nah, I believe yeah, Chico in this instance. You're right. I, but, yeah, they, they gave Triple H a goddamn heart attack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he was being creative as hell and got stifled. But what Chico said, be careful what you wish for. Because then somebody gonna take over that don't know. We're gonna get the whole WCW thing. That don't know nothing about wrestling, somebody gonna take over. And it's gonna keep yeah, doing it, and keep doing it, keep doing it. Stephanie don't even know all that. I think also said it yeah, that's gonna be the one to take over. What but is. We could get a corporate shield that knows <coughs> that can start from whoever they sell it to, making all the decisions. Kenny, what did he say last week? Yes. No, I said, I think Chico said either last week or earlier this week that lately they have been what you call clickbaiting the company. Yeah. They're putting on these false advertisements for Matthews to get you to tune in and then they just switch they it. They better switch, yeah. And they knew that they were going to do that. That's the problem. That's what happened with the Big E thing. You know, they're taking nobody out of the new event, for example. You advertise for the freeway and then you a brand new guy that nobody's even heard of in that spot. Brand new dude. Like, that. that's what, that's my problem with it. Like, they should not, brand new people shouldn't be in prominent Draws like that. That's just my. That's just my opinion right now. Like they, they're it's trying to replicate. Heard. <laughs> what was that? It was somebody we never heard of, or wasn't built up. What's whatsoever. He was literally just 
shoved in there. Exactly. Just uh, they just shoehorned it. Shoved him in there. Just right, right in there. Just no reason. And it was just, it, it, right. I was so confused on Tuesday. I, I just didn't want to watch it. I legitimately did not want to watch it. And it was just, it was one of those things where it's like, I cannot do this. Like, I've really tried. Who, who was it? Because I didn't see it. <laughs> who oh, was it that they put in like that? Be glad you didn't see it, man. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I'm about to look it up to see I don't even remember their names. Um, the, what's what's his name? Von? Was that what the Von Waxer was? Von, it? yeah, Von, Von, Von Doom, Von Von Wagner. Von. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did he come from? This is Somebody this is office. Vince has a major hard on for. Yeah, right? yeah. major, major hard on. He was right in Vince's office and Vince brought him out. That's the same, man. <laughs> This is, that's literally it. Like, it's almost like he was just going backstage, walking around backstage, and hey, you, you go out there, you go, you go and take that match. Oh, you. Yeah. And then after he won the first match against LA Knight, you see all those people back there that was congratulating whoever that was. That was that was Steiner, right? Yeah. That, but yeah, um, it was somebody. Uh, it was a uh, Bron. Yeah, Bron. Bre we're gonna call him Jimmy Neutron from now on, cause that's that's how I'm gonna remember it. It, it, so, it sounds like what a, a Adam Breaker or something. That's why. Here's the thing I'm not understanding. Yeah. You take the belt off of Joe. Okay. You want to rebuild the company and start with new stars, correct? Uh huh. Why uh -huh. would you give Champa the belt? Yeah, they they gave him Champa. That made no sense. They did. not I feel like they think they owe him. Maybe they owe him. Because he never got it back. Try to boost their ratings or keep it. Okay, so you just gave somebody else another three year contract. Can you give it to him? Keep interest. Who P. Dunn? Yeah, that's what it is. They gave it to Champa. Like the, the, the NXT diehards to tune in when they see Champa as the champion. So let's put it on him. But just showcase all these new guys. They only got a hundred thousand more viewers. Three years. <laughs> right. They can't. Listen, they can't put it. They can't put it on somebody new right now when they're fucking battling AEW as hard as they're doing and losing talent like a motherfucker. Yeah, they say they're not battling yeah. AEW, but they that are. Hard. They are. I'm begging. I'm begging Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens to leave. So if if you guys somehow hear it. this. Kevin Steen and El Generico, we need you to return, please. Elsewhere. Yeah, come, come home. Please. AEW didn't even about. exist, but that's the indie scene that's right now. That's going to be too much. You think it's going to be too much? They built, they're getting too many stars over there. They're getting too many stars over there. Look at Moxley. Moxley's like falling down to a mid Carter now. Cause they got too much star power right now for him. Oh, see, he's, he's a fucking afterthought. I, I I see exactly what you're saying, but <laughs> right. What were you saying, Chico? Yeah, Moxley was in the main event tonight. Right, but yeah, and he's, and he's still in the prime position in the company. He's gonna be on next. Week. He's basically gonna be handling the the forbidden door stuff for the time being. Right. Well, what's, what is our definition of mid card? Because I don't see Moxley as a mid carder at all. Like, what, what is right now? Literally, somebody in the middle of the card. <laughs> so when you're not in, you're not going for the title, like that's, that makes you an automatic mid card. Uh, uh, apparently, he, I mean, look what he's been doing the past. What has he been doing the past few months? He's fighting. He's, he's in a new Japan. He just came back. Who? He's in a, he's in the New Japan War. That's his storyline right now. That he's taking on all the talent from New Japan. Well, that's what we like yeah, to think Suzuki it is. is a big deal. You see the Suzuki incident. <laughs> <laughs> so that's they, they making that. Yeah, they're making that title is like the, the secondary title because he can't do no program with fucking Omega. He already done did it. Omega's mm -hmm. not dropping a title. There's no other title for him to take. That's so why I made like, that. Putting a program somewhere else to keep him. That's why I made I that case for the second title, team. but nobody wants it. The second world. Yeah, Mox got the GC. Oh yeah, a really good Nick Gage. They're using that stuff to their advantage, though, in my opinion. 
the uh, like the indie belts and stuff like that. You know, GCW title, the Impact title, stuff like that. To you know, people who need to be prominent in some degree, they're holding on to those, and they are. I don't want to say stagnating, but they're you know, they're not the main focal point. But that's the thing I like about AEW personally is because that focal point changes almost on a weekly basis. Right, so 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 that so to y'all, Malachi Black is a mid carder because he's not in the title hunt. No, nah. he's, 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 he's one of the top players. There is uh-huh. upper card though. That's where they are. Mid card sounds so dirty, yeah, I don't but like, yeah, I don't know. I just don't so so yeah, scratch that for the time. Yeah, scratch that for the time being. Mid card is just a dirty word, a dirty, a dirty WWE term, because everybody uses mid card and bury all the time, and that's not the case yes. here. It's not. Mid card is just sitting and catering and drinking the curtain. Right. Exactly. Over there. Like um, uh, like and doing lucha things in the in the in the back <laughs> and running off camera. <laughs> so. That's mid card. <laughs> um, God, man. Or, or even lower than that is a twenty four seven bullshit. Oh, thank God they don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you, you cannot listen. You cannot not our truth for that, man. He he told that. No, our truth was fire. Our right truth now. was fire, right? Yeah, I don't even like our. I don't even like our truth with this crap now. It's the same yeah, old up, thing. Yeah, look up how many times. Look up how many times he became the twenty four seven champion. Yeah, it's like fifty <laughs> times. Like that's no. Yeah, that's no embellishment. It's like fifty times. Like that just says it's just that just says how sucky it is though. Like, cause to look it up. It's the same thing. Back it is back to the status quo. Now, what if it was Cena? Like, imagine that. Like, but that's what happened with the WWE Championship with Cena. Is that it went yeah. back to the status quo? It says our truth has won the twenty four seven championship a total of fifty two times. Woo. I told you, fifty times. It was no embellishment. I knew I saw a fifty somewhere. Yeah. Yo, that's wild as a bitch. That's, that'll be a cool stat to talk about in the Hall of Fame. A footnote in the Hall of Fame, all just, all because of that. Like, and, that, and it's just from sheer volume. That title has no meaning. It's literally just for something to do. The catering boys. And it was never over, man. Like from the first night, it was just never over. Why couldn't and we just? Why couldn't we just have the cruiserweight title? Uh, that's that's not an one. It don't seem like it used to be. Like, uh, what? Isn't there a cruiserweight title match next week? Tell me why Roderick Strong's going for that. Because he's small. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, what is wrong with them? That's what I can give you. What is, uh, and, and it's probably and it's probably true. That's the problem. But what pisses me off? Like, I don't even care. That I'm. I can see all of the problems that WWE is having and stuff like that. I can see it, but it's more so what's pissing me off is the WWE fan base because they refuse to see it. It's right in front of their faces, but they refuse to see it. That's what's pissing me off the most out of all of this. And then they will defend it to the death. Yeah, like 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 they. He can never do no wrong Ex- ever. Exactly, and I felt like that for a while. I really did. Uh, you, Chico, you remember the earlier days of this chat? I used to tell y'all all the time: you gotta take the bad to get to the good with WWE. Now, yeah, that was that, shit all the that was all the twenty tens because they did some questionable shit during the twenty tens. Twenty ten specifically, that year specifically. And then, you know, Punk in 2011 with the pipe bomb stuff and blah, blah, blah. You know, we got to the good. Uh, what was that? 2013 with uh, Survivor Series and, uh, and Sting debuted and Dolph yeah. Outlasting and stuff like that. Those were some genuine good moments. Dolph cashing in. 
they had some good moments, but then it just got to the point, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say that point specifically was that Hell in a Cell with Wyatt and Rollins, to where everything they did just got bad. And it even went, and like, I find myself getting salty at people on Twitter when they're like, oh, that match between Rollins and Edge or whatever was so good. I bet you it wasn't. It's the same old formula for them. They don't switch it up. Nothing. Like, why did they fight again anyway? Seth won. What, was it Edge trying to get revenge or whatever? Did he end up being on a stretcher? No, Edge won. Oh, Edge did win. Damn it. So they got to fight each other again. Because, you know, WWE rules. Yeah, it's one and one. Oh, no. Don't say that. Come on. And you know this one thing. It's either going to be an ambulance match or it's going to be a stretcher match. Yep. As a blue one. It's probably a stretcher match. Lord. Yep. As is probably, fight me again! Yeah, and you got to do it again! Get a <laughs> like, like, uh, he's, this is a day in which Edge is not seen clearly. Unfortunately, and I'm I'm not I'm not with it. <laughs> I'm just I'm not with it. He just it, uh, I can't do it no more, man. It's so just uh, the abhorrently bad, and I hate not I hate knocking it because I used to love it, and it's like an ex girlfriend or something like that. Where you never really want to talk bad about them or whatever or degrade them, but they're doing bad things. So you have no choice. Yeah, she's such a bitch. All right. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what really? You're absolutely right. And it's just like, you're, she's out there, like, you know, you know this person, like, not to do drugs or not to do alcohol or. Or be just carefree and stuff like that. And then you look back and now they're doing all that stuff. And it's just like, what happened to you? Like, Shannon, are you still watching them dishes? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm busting my suds out, man. Oh, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are apples at, though? <laughs> I don't know, man. My yeah. kids ate them all, man. My, my kids run through this house, man. Uh, it looks like you used it recently, so that's good. Yeah, nice and healthy. But anyway, I am excited for everything that AEW has coming up. And uh, to the listeners out there, we're working on some, uh, you know, some different, how you say, formats for this show. And you're going to enjoy it even more. If you enjoy it now, you're going to enjoy it way more real soon. I'm just, I'm not even going to tell you when. I'm just going to spring it on you. So, stay tuned. No Big E tweet. Yeah, because you never know. Exactly, yeah. We're going to pull it Big E style. That's what we're going to call it now. Big E style. <laughs> it's just going to end up different. And y'all going to be like, oh, what happened? Oh, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yo. Quick question. Quick question. Yeah, Come yeah. Yes, yes. Do y'all think do y'all think FTR hands Sting and Darby their first tag team loss next week? No. 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 And uh, I'll tell you why. I don't think because Sting loses I, I don't think Sting is in the business to be losing and stuff like that. So he's very limited. Uh, although FTR should probably get a, a big win. Because they just lost the PMP, but now PMP is like I don't know where the hell they are. Were they even on the show tonight? Look, no. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they won tonight, and uh, they, they won they won last week too. Oh, FTR. Yeah, they won last year. I don't think they was on. Yeah, they're they're fine. Okay, I just worry about them uh, in a sense because the one that injury to the young bucks thing didn't go exactly how they planned. And, uh, well, but then you think about it, they had a really long reign with those titles. And it didn't even seem like it was that long, but it was. So, I mean, what else could you really do as a tag team except program work? 
if you're not going for the titles, it has to be you're in a program. At least they're still on the show. And not doing yeah. crap like Usi Hot. <laughs> so. You remind me of that, man. Oh, I forgot about Usi Hot. I, I would say don't remind me. But... Right! Uh, Santa's Little Helper style. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like a dog with nerves. Right, impacted molar crap. Like, what is. Oh, God. Shaving their backs and. Oh, I can't now look where the Usos are. I just shared a picture in the chat earlier with their brother. I swear he looks like that. He looks like the Usos, but he looks like DJ Khaled. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, he, Bro, he was the first person to congratulate Braun Breaker when he went backstage after his match. Oh, that was him. Okay. Yep. I knew I knew he looked familiar. Mm. But a whole lot of those people I did not recognize. And while I'm at it, I'm, I'm afraid I must let you guys know how much, aside from Shane Strickland, how much I hate Hit Row. I cannot do it. It's so stupid. It's so blatant. And it's so stereotypical. Like, they, do they have to do their promos in a in a music studio? What, are they all rappers or whatever? I didn't even know the woman's name. The woman's name, it sounds like a man's name. What's her name again? We got a brand. B-Fab. B-Fab, yeah. What? Did they, what? What is that? I seriously thought when they came out and they said B-Fab on the bottom, I was like, oh, one of the dudes about to fight. And then I saw a girl on there and was like, hold on. Oh, what? The, that's her name? What? Like, this is terrible. Well, don't worry. They're doomed either way with this whole rebranding shit. Yeah, absolutely. But Shane Strickland is a quality talent. Like I remember back, what, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Watching him in the um the that Tress match or whatever on Lucha Underground with uh, Air Fox. That was some quality stuff. And so we know what he can do. I've seen him on the Indies. I know of him. That's why I'm saying I apologize if I'm not using their WWE slave name, but you know I just don't I don't know them as anything else. So I I just uh, it's it's frustrating, guys. Like it's really frustrating just how horrible this is. Like how can you have something so great right now as AEW, and then on the other side of the coin. Somebody who's been doing it for, what, 50 plus years or whatever the hell? Missing the mark so just crazily. The mark is here. They're all the way over here. Shooting. We're like, Vince, the mark is right here. No, 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 it's over here. I see it. Like, like here, pal. Like, <laughs> it's over here, pal. <laughs> but Man, he really I doesn't. Really care. It's a one-man show, and his followers. Too much money for him to care, bro. He don't care. But that's the thing that I think Kenny was saying that the other night. Why aren't these networks stepping in and saying this is shit? What are we? What are we paying you all this money for? This is crap. They, start. they keep losing in that demo. They keep that's losing in that demo. Friend. That's when the nut. That one. That's when the network's gonna stay. Wait. They getting paid millions, but they're, and they're beating us in the demo. We paying you billions. That's when it's gonna start. They're losing it now. Already at nineteen, they're eighteen to forty-nine. It's gonna start killing. Yep. I can't believe it. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like the networks are the one that they're pretty much their bosses. If I was a network, you got to get three mil or more. I ain't saying we gotta get the NFL numbers, but like yeah. back in, the, I'm not even gonna just use the attitude. We're just gonna use the attitude era. Attitude show. They were getting like five, six million. My God, if yeah. You couldn't maintain that. Now, if you can't maintain that, get the hell off my network. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's what they negotiated too. Be like, oh well, that's the yeah, numbers yeah. now. That's the numbers now in this day and age because there's a lot of people that don't watch wrestling that used to. They don't watch it anymore because they're oh, but it's fake. Even if, well, even at least two, give me two or three. If you can't give me that consistently every week, get off my network. And it's in like yeah. he gets the money and give him the billions, 
he pockets it, and then he puts out and he puts out shit, and nobody says anything. Yeah, they need to pay them when they're done. Like, produce us some good programming, then we'll pay you. Y'all can handle and it. And that's exactly why Saudi Arabia held their ass. Yep, Saudi is that? Because <laughs> they put out a shit show. All right, now give it back. Give one back. It's too weak. We've seen the same people once. Right. Yeah, it was like cat. We see the same people on TV every week. Yep. Like, enough, man. Enough. It was like Tyler Ooh. Orton, Lashley, RK Bro, um, uh, Alexa. <laughs> It's the same, like, eight people every week. Just different scenarios. Like, it's insane, man. Saudi Arabia was yeah, like... Just AW. <laughs> yeah. just do episode every week with AEW because they could, they know how to spread out their roster. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's that's why everybody keep on saying they don't got time to use everybody. Yes, they do. Yes, they, they do. know how to do it better. Yep. Look at Dark. Look at Elevation. Look at Rampage. Yep. All that stuff. Everything is spread out nicely. That's why uh, I forgot who said it at the beginning of this, where it's just like, oh, they're doing too much star power. I worried about that at first, but then I thought about all the other shows that they actually have going on. It's just like, you know what? No. They're just building star power. So every show has star power people you want to see. And we got a two-hour yeah, rampage this week. All right. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And then you have it, So like, like I was saying before, hey, why aren't these network executives that we need a good network executive to just be like, okay, cut the shit, like seriously, and like not even joking, but yeah, exactly. And cut the shit. And get, give me some good shit. Where's Palmer Kennedy? Bring him back. He was a good neck oh, that guy. He was a good network executive. Just keep Teddy Long in check. Hey, hold up, did y'all hear? Did y'all hear that Fox? Was willing to pay half of. Oh, see, yep, yep. I was gonna make get him to come back to the company, and they said no. Can you be and not agree with? They said no. Let him be. Let him be their headache. Just said. Yep, yep. That's exactly what they said. And and what's funny is that just shows you how much they're not hurting for money. So they're lying when they say, "Oh, budget cuts." No, there's no budget cuts. Y'all not hurting for money. Because they they were offered for somebody as big a star as Punk was to be able to say, hey, we got half his salary. If y'all bring him back, he's star power. We recognize that. We have a good relationship with him. We pay y'all what y'all need to have. So we want him on there. Nah, pal, we're just not going to do that. That's fine. We don't need the money that bad. Like, what is wrong with you? That much? And again. But Punk said he wouldn't go back even if he wanted to. Yeah, he punk, ex punk exposed too much to change the business, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he exposed too much. I wouldn't say that. Because, you know, this is stuff we already knew. He just brought attention to it. Yeah, just brought it to the, yeah, just put it to the light, yeah. And I feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also feel like, you know, when Sami Zayn used to do that, like, uh, what was it, electric chair thing? Or whatever. That was a good thing. Mm -hmm. And they stopped that. Because he was... He was on the cusp of, like, you know, being a voice of the voiceless type thing and stuff like that. You know, breaking the fourth wall with the fans and things like that. That's what people want. We want self-aware stuff. That's what we want. Hey, Cole Cabana, how you doing? You, you, know, you know, Vince, but he wanted the actual swift electricity to be in that chair when Sammy started talking. <laughs> so he could cut him off and fry it. Pull that switch right now! Vince, there's no switch. What do you mean? <laughs> Make a switch and pull it. He just said AEW. Hey, cut his mic off. We, well, Vince, we can't because if you cut his mic off, there's a, it's an electric chair. It's going to power the microphone anyway. <laughs> like, come on, man. Oh, it's so bad. They just don't, they don't see, and it's not even like they're stupid. WWE management is not stupid. They know what they're doing. They just oh, shoot. They treat us like we're stupid. They're like, it's literally, I can do that, but I don't want to. That's literally it. Uh -huh. That's exactly it. They can have better programming. You know how bad I, like, winced when Damian Priest walked in the door at NXT? It was just like, yeah, I'll play. 
What? What you Why are you saying? The minute he said that name, as soon as Austin said, I, I found a freak. Yeah, we got our freak. It, it, it's so, it's such stupid humor. And it's not even, the whole wedding is up, because we didn't even talk about the wedding yet. Like, did oh, you see how yeah. many hijinks was in that crap? Like, that wasn't even cool. Like, they were trying way too hard. And when they do yeah, that... They had a lot of cool in there. Yeah! Corny! How do you feel about that, Kitty Cornette? They yeah, have grams in the axe. <laughs> to keep everybody quiet. Like, really? Yeah, like... It's one of you and all of us. Right! And they are... Are they at Phoenix to be the minister? Like... And they already raised their hands! Okay. The minister saw it. Everybody raised their hands, and then what? They're just gonna put them down. So oh, oh, they just, they just okay, forget about it. Like oh no, we don't have nothing to say. He's gonna chop us in a bit. Like and I, any, I'm gonna say right now, I don't like Andy Hartwell's face. I had an issue with that last night. <laughs> it's like it's bumpy. It's like Rocky Dennis. It's ugly. Yeah. And I hate saying that, but you know you gotta you gotta say you gotta say this about some people. We gonna catch some flag for this. <laughs> That's what we are, y'all. We're no holds barred. We we talk shit about wrestlers and we swear and we do all this other stuff. That's what we do, cause we're uncensored. We don't have stockholders, and we're not PG. <laughs> Rock solid over here. Rock solid. Yeah, damn right. I don't know what we supposed to do, but I'm, I'm just do this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that. Yes. effort. Yeah. <laughs> that hurt. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, God damn. But you, you know, we we gonna have to, we got to change some type of. I, I really think Adam Cole should be their champion over there. What do you think of that crap? Why does he keep flip flopping? Booker T. Oh, the Booker man. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know why. Well, I'm gonna ask him right now, Booker. Why you keep flip flopping? Tell me. Hey, hey, look here, man. I do what I do. I mean, look at you. So. Why you? Why you gonna tell a man? What you? Cause I'm uh, I'm buck nasty. I tell that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. You know that I'm the nastiest hater this side of the Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta kick me in the ass and show your inside and style. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know why he's flat because he started getting too much flack from the Mississippi Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, the, the wrestling promotions and personalities and stuff, they do a lot of things because of these fans. Like, hence the Speak It Out movement. Why did they have somebody on, I forgot who it was, but I know for damn sure they had somebody on there featured on NXT last night that was a part of that Speak It Out movement. I don't know. They what. got accused? Yeah. I forgot who it was. It was like right in the middle of the show. I think he wrestled Imperium. Uh, Josh Briggs? Yes, that's him. That's it. Josh Briggs. Why is he on there? I don't. That's the Judas wannabe, the, the old the Lucas. Yeah. Soros wannabe. Exactly. So if they had him on there, why couldn't they have Velveteen Dream on there? At least he, at least Velveteen Dream's talented. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw you, Chico. I, I kind of am inclined to agree. <laughs> and I shouldn't be laughing about that because I mean it's it's yeah, hard it's not to believe. Right. Yep. Right. It's hard not to believe. But we are past our hour, so we are. I want to get on up out of here. Any last thoughts from anybody? Uh, no, yeah, come, yeah. Don't come to Rochester with that <laughs> mid AEW. Yeah. That's that's my warning. <laughs> State my word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand NYC is going to be the bigger show, but 
give us a plug too, because we were supposed to be the first New York show. Yep. So they mentioned that tonight. And just give us some quality matches and segments. That's all I ask. Let's talk about dinosaur barbecue in the commentary. Oh, the day JR called it the Rock too. They okay, so they did mention. Okay, good. I was hoping they did. So yeah, it's it's right down the street from the arena, like not even like just steps away. So might not make it into the building. Yeah. <laughs> get him a nice slab yeah, and be good. Right I might not make it. Right? Because I'm going to throw a brick at Jericho. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this motherfucker! <laughs> right at the end! Right at the end! Oh! oh. Here we go! God damn it! <laughs> hey, I'm just... I'm just here to watch. No, nah, I'm gonna I'm a be. Y'all gonna leave me here like Stewie with Meg. Oh, hey. What you doing? Like, no. Y'all better stay right there. Like, no, because Mel been at me all day. We're not, we not going nowhere. we just messing with Mel. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> That's what he was doing. Let's leave before. Let's leave before he comes back. Let's not listen. <laughs> oh no, he coming back with you. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. We gotta leave because <laughs> I'm not in for it tonight. We have we're past our hour. We're past our time. We'll see you guys next week, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yes, we will. We will. Uh, we'll pick this up where we left off. Later. <laughs>